Alrighty then, how in the bloody hell are you all? I am extremely well. Now uh, let's continue with this. So it seems, oh, you can actually walk up on, oh, that's cool. It must have mapped it as part of the ground or something, I don't know how that would work. Alright, so there's nothing down here. Yeah, we gotta follow the sound of the barking, don't we? I don't like it. I really don't like it. There goes a rat. Ah, uh, more reading. 6152, number 42, minor medical report. Attending physician, Dr. N.H.F. Bowen, medical report. Report follows. Read the initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Black Pines. Admitted on receipt of the 12 patients at the sanitarium's medical facility. We had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appeared co cogent and relatively healthy, attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Uh, inhibited respiratory function was detected in a few of the older men as predicted as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Uh, psycholog psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of uh, reintegration has been difficult uh, for some of the group. Though their outward health is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mind. Sorry, it's been a long, long week. Uh, treatment. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off the A-wing of the sanatorium psychological element evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone a bronchoscopy, bronchoscopy I guess, and prescribed a course of uh, streptomycin. The others are simply kept under strict 24 hours observation. Signed, Dr. Nichols, Henry Four Fowles, Bowen. One of the guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Dr. Bowen. Huh. Really not liking these sounds. Can we go in here? No. So I guess we're avoiding that area where the guy and the dogs or wolves were. I actually like the little uh, nuances that these characters have. You know, the, as they're walking, they might scratch an arm or brush something out of their face. It's kind of cool. I like it. Oh, uh, alright. So yeah, I picked up Dead Space today. Uh, 89 bucks. <laughs> oh, two okay. oh, shit. Gross. See the machete? belt loop or something. That loop was never on his pants. Like, no pair of jeans has a loop like that. I saw a light. Where did I see that? Like, the interaction thing. Maybe it was that glass. A bit of light going through the glass. So yeah, I was contemplating in the PS4 version for Dead Space, and then I was like, uh... I got Series X, use the Series... Oh, that's what I was saying, okay. Use the Series X. Holy shit. Straining chair. Oh, what happened here? Looks like it might have been in like an electrical chair at one point. Game got a little jittery for a second there. I don't know if that's like the lag between the console and the screen or I if the recording will pick that up. I hope not, but it makes me sound like I'm insane when I say, hey look at that lag. It happened a few times when I was playing Code Veronica. Because I'm play uh, I was playing Code Veronica through uh, HDMI 
thing so it's like AV to HDMI and HDMI out to the recorder from the recorder to the screen. Oh, this is... what could... Uh, who? How many days will they keep would... us here? Mm. What was that he was trying to say? That made no sense whatsoever. Was he trying to read but it turns out he couldn't read? I don't know. Screen keeps doing this thing where the bl blows in and out. Those things are supposed to be upstairs. Repire immediately reporters and other snoops to be kept away at all costs. Western Providence Telecommunications Gee, Code. I wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise. Uh, to Mr. J. Bragg, incident update. Twelve survivors received a sanatorium showing signs of mental trauma. May need to contain local press now have scent of blood becoming a problem. Please advise further. Huh. I like how he keeps switching hands. I mean, like, it, it's a detail that's cool, but like, couldn't he use his left hand to pick up a note? I guess he might be right-handed, but whatever. Okay, so we're done here. Alright, into the wolf's den where we get mauled to our death. Oh, there's a skeleton. That's kind of cool. Oh, we're standing. Oh, it's just the way that we couldn't go before, I think. Is that head going to turn? No. Nope. I guess that's where I was earlier. The um, the memo or the telegram. <gasps> oh, rat! Oh, I thought it was a dog. Okay, so that's that room. The restraining chair. Oh, I don't like this. Oh God! beyond here. I don't know if I want to interact with that. Oh, look, it's still cold in it? Or is that dust? It might be dust. The toe tag? Emergency medical tag name Nicholas Bowen tagged February 24th, 1952. Description attacked by inmate fatal lacerations to throat. Okay. Oh, warm. Another one? I don't think it's still cold, I think that's dust and rust. The place looks like it's been abandoned for like 50 plus years. Name of deceased Sarah Smith, date of death, uh, February 24th, 1952. I hereby certify that I intend deceased from March 8th, 1951 to February 24th, 1952, and last saw her alive on February 24th, 1952. Cause of death, severe lacerations to the abdomen, internal abdomen, sorry, intra -ad abdominal injuries, subsequent blood loss. If the death was due to external causes, quote unquote violence, fill in also the following accident, suicide, or homicide. Homicide, manner of inquiry, laceration by sharp implement, possibly fingernails. Additional notes, please use the box provided overleaf for additional relevant information. Signed by blah, blah, blah. Additional notes, body was not discovered until 6 to 8 hours after the sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. Lovely. It looked like there was something in the back there. Um, okay. 
Oh, we got a body. Is this gonna scare me? Dude. Oh, okay. Key card. Okay, let's check this out. Alright, so we got a key card. Maybe that they are cold, because they're still like steamy. Uh, maybe I don't want to do that yet. Oh wait, there's something here. This place just gets better and better. Is he gonna move? Strange skull. Looks like a regenerator head from Resident Evil 4. So what is this thing? Do I ignore this or do I deal with it? I'm gonna ignore it. That looks like a trap. Yep, let's ignore that. Alright, so that. And. Rape. It's a very, um, cool system. Alright, nothing around this way. Upstairs. So, so far we've just done a massive circuit, I think. We've gone from maybe the west wing to the east wing, or vice versa. Saw. Isn't this a quaint little psycho crib? Alright, kind of almost looks like the church from Resident Evil, uh, not Resident Evil, Silent Hill Homecoming. I could not get over that game, that game was just so broken. Like, there were, I've got, like, on my TikTok, if you want to check it out, um, just look up then on the AJ on TikTok. I've got, um, some of my gaming glitches I've captured while doing recordings. There's at least three um, glitches I caught for homecoming. Right, back in here. And they weren't like um, minor glitches either. They were like one or two were almost like game-breaking glitches. Uh, wait, I'm back here again. Why did I do that? Oh, I've got the key card now, that's why. Yes, yes, yes. Stupid. I'm stupid. Maybe another wolf thing in here. Do I leave the key card or do I keep it? Mm. No, 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 don't hit it. Don't hit it. Jesus, Easy, man. Easy. Easy. That's a good one. Alright. That's two massive jump scares in this one video we were like not even five minutes apart. Jesus Christ, dude. Ah. Uh, the stogie stash exposed. Last one. Alright. Uh, I don't want to go that way yet. 
I kept the key card, so maybe I can go through that door on the other side there. Let's look over here. And get through the door, that is. Fucking freak. Clipping more. I wouldn't call him a freak. I think he's trying to work something out. Yeah, if I hit the dog, I would have got mauled to death, I reckon. So sometimes the violent action is not always the right action. That's what I think, at least, anyway. Oh, stay away from the wolf or the dog or whatever it is. Uh, that's a collapsed wall, so it's up here. Open. Up. Oh. Maybe this will keep the wolves fat and happy. Do I give that to him? Or is he going to attack me for it? I wish I could actually control the camera. I mean, it's supposed to be cinematic and it looks cool. But li I'd like to know what's ahead of me sometimes. Don't pat it. Easy, boy. Easy. You didn't let it sniff your hand. What the That's hell? Okay, boy. That's right. Now, I've grown up with dogs almost all my life when I was a kid and all that. We had German Shepherds, and these weren't like little German Shepherds. They were full, pure, very German Shepherds. And um, I always got taught as a kid if you want to pat a strange dog, whether you know the dog or not, um, Always let it sniff the back of your hand first. That way it gets a sense of you and you get a sense of it. Alright. So I need a key. What the fuck's the key? It's kind of funny sometimes that is like the way... Oh! There's something over here. I see that before. If I can get past the barrels. Oh wait. So, what have we here? Just still a guy's jacket. I mean, I'm sure you're cold, but still. That's a good one. And now we get a gun. Although I'm not going to shoot anyone. Alright. Well, I don't want to shoot anyone. Unless I, I can shoot the lock off, I guess. Does that make sense? It's a very uh, James Sunderland looking coat he's wearing, though. Or jacket. I guess if I didn't give the dog the bone, it would have attacked me for shooting that. So. Right, um, let's pull it down here quickly. There's a light switch which I cannot reach. Well, I would be able to reach that in, in the real world. Just reach over and try it out, see if it works. Right. Now, if it, the other dog comes out, do not shoot the dog. It explicitly attacks me. I'm learning my lessons over these few games. At some point, eventually, I'm going to play um, House of Ashes. And they've got that new one coming out this year, the um, beginning uh, for, I guess, Phase 2 or Season 2 for the anthology. Can't remember what it was called, but it's like. It's in space, and it looks awesome. Alright. No, no, don't go. Is that you? Yeah, I got lost for a second. I, I, I forgot where I was going. 
I guess if I went via the window, I wouldn't have seen that the dog would light the bone. I guess. So I guess going through the main door first was the better option. I don't know. It's all about options, really. Choices that you make and all that. So where the fuck did this guy go? And how did he lock that gate from the outs uh, from while being inside of it? Nothing here. No. Okay, fix the camera angle. Let's go. Of course, locked. Oh, I can sort of see how he does it. Oh, it's not real. Oh. Oh, well, shit. Oh, fuck. Psycho in a mask, huh? Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. Alright. I mean, yeah, at the gate's locked, but you could just jump over that tiny wall. <laughs> I mean. I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take Get this something over here. Is this where the snowball fight took place earlier? Ooh. Paint? It's still fresh. Huh. And the footprints are too. Weird. Alright, so there's nothing over here. Oh, well, wait, there is. What do we get? Black, I think. Death. Oh, dude. Yep, alright. Matt just saw his own death, apparently. Alright. What's that we see? Get out of the way, Emily. Look! An axe. Get I feel better with an axe. Out of the way. Okay. Oh what now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Um... Help Emily through. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Think again, lughead. No can do. For one thing, that maniac is probably just sitting there under that window waiting to blend us into pina coladas. Oh, God. <sighs> okay, fine. Here it goes. There was no good Locked. option there, was there? Then I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! Oh. Oh, okay, I'm using that. I'd smash the door handle. There we go. Or break the glass and just unlock it. Like, there were so many different options you had there. Oh. Damn. What happened? This is crazy. We 
We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's got to be the guy, the, the one who, who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's got to know this is the only way back. Don't say that. <sighs> Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You, you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, him. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I... I don't know. God, everything is, like, so busted no. up. Oh, Emily, shut up. I think they up. knew exactly what they were doing. Um... Let's just have a look around. Okay, there's nothing there. Get out of the way, woman. Someone really... Uh, I'm gonna stop you on the stairs because my time is off. Have a good day where you are, stay cool, stay chill, stay safe, be awesome, and thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. We're gonna work out what the fuck's going on. Bye guys.